This is number two from the 2012 Calc AB exam. It's the area volume problem. So we are given this region. Uh, we're not told the intersection point, so the first thing we'll do on our calculator is to find the uh, ordered pair. So I'm writing this down, but really what I would do is graph them and find the intersection point. And uh, I'd actually store the x and the y coordinate of that. But anyway, we get that x is uh, approximately that value, 3.693441. And uh, so what you do on your paper is you say let A equal, you write it down, and now you're free to use A as often as you want. Um, we're going to use it quite a bit. So I'm going to divide the region in two at that point, so uh, that x coordinate is A. And the area will be first this region, which is the integral from 1 to A of the natural log of x dx. And then I'm going to add to it this region which is the integral from a to 5 of 5 minus x dx. And then you punch that into your calculator, you get this to three decimal places, you write it down, and you're done. I'm actually going to do this problem again in a slightly different way. I'm going to integrate with respect to y, because it's actually easier. Um, so on my paper I would say uh, let b equal the natural log of a, or maybe you would just choose to use the natural log of a. Uh, that's fine. Anyway, the integral that I'm after this time uh, let me just drop that down. The integral I'm after this time is going to be with respect to y, so I have to solve each of the equations for x. So x equals 5 minus y, and x equals e to the y. And now my region is kind of there. So if I were doing a Riemann sum, the rectangles would be perpendicular to the y-axis. Um, so the area is going to be the integral from 0 to b of the right-hand curve, which is 5 minus y, minus the left-hand curve, which is e to the y, and then a dy. And if you punch that one in, you get the same value that we got uh, the other way, which is reassuring. Uh, the next part tells us that we're going to make some squares, and the squares are going to be perpendicular to the x-axis. Again, I have to cut this region in two. Um, it's kind of an annoying little deviation from their normal type of question. And the area of a cross-section, in this case, that I'm going to deal with is going to be the side squared, because that's how you find the area of a square. And, of course, I have to integrate um, the area of a cross-section. So I'm integrating the side squared. So the volume will be, in the first part of the region, uh, the, you know, you're doing top takeaway bottom, which is natural log of x minus 0, so just natural log of x. So that'll be the integral from 0 to a of the side is natural log of x. We square it. Plus, in this second region, um, the side of the square is the curve 5 minus x minus the x-axis, which is y equals 0, so just 5 minus x, so it'll be the integral from a to 5 of the quantity 5 minus x squared. We don't have to evaluate that for some reason, I don't know, it's a calculator question, but whatever. Uh, in the next part, we're told that the horizontal line y equals k divides the region into two. This is where integrating with respect to y is really useful, um, makes this problem much easier. So what we need to do, it, it divides it into two equal regions, so we have two options. Uh, again, we know that these are our curves. The first option is to just figure out each of the areas. So the first one would be from 0 to k of right takeaway left, and then from k to b of right takeaway left, and those need to be equal to each other. And the other option would be to say that the integral from 0 to k, so that bottom half of the region, equals um, half of the entire region. So 0 to b. And either of those gets us the answer. Uh, it's plenty easy. There's a way to do it with respect to x, but it's just not worth your time. Um, you know, get comfortable integrating with respect to y, and, you know, it has its benefits. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.